three-minute music hour. I'm Andy Moore. Pat McDonald. Paper shack. You come around, say your daddy's back. I'm your long gone daddy. Long gone daddy. No one's daddy now. Decked out in her calico bed.
Where'd you come from? Well, that's over there. Oh. They're sitting on my stool. You've been here little, the whole time? My little producer stool thing. <laughs> Go, uh, that's yes. a, you are a sum of the parts fellow, mm. aren't you? The, mm. the, Pat, tell us about the, the stump board. It, it, that's sort of the heart and soul, but then we'll work up to the cigar box. But uh, Well, this, my dad helped me make this um, a few years ago. Uh, just had the idea. I used to mic the floor sometimes, and other times um, I built contraptions that were more electronic. And I just realized all I really needed is a fake floor and a mic, and I put that kick drum mic on the floor, basically. Give it a stop. Yeah. And depending on where your boot lands, you use your heel, you use the side of your foot, you can get all those different sounds out of it. It really mm -hmm. drives, doesn't it? It just drives it. I used to always stomp anyway, you know, when I'd uh, be playing in upstairs apartment, uh, <laughs> getting, getting, you know, like, it, normally, you know, I, I would have fists coming up, you know, banging on the floor underneath me. <laughs> Answering you? Yeah. Beat for beat? I'd try to jam yeah. along with them, yeah. And then, and then you're, you're playing the cigar box, which I asked you to bring along, and, and uh, somebody down south made this for you, didn't they, or makes them? This, this is made by John Lowe, Johnny Lobo, he goes by as his uh, plant professional name. And uh, um, Where he, is he? he made it, it's a Purgatory Hill Harp. It's, it says number one. Huh. Memphis. Which, yeah, he's from Memphis, Tennessee. Um, you can uh, find him, you know, online, you know, John Lowe or Johnny Lobo, uh, L-O-W-E-B-O-W. -O -W. And the neck. Yeah. Is yeah, man, I think he's a genius. This thing, somebody gave me this at a gig in San Francisco uh, a year and a half ago or something like that, and um, and I thought, oh, it's kind of cool. Uh, it makes it even makes a little noise, you know, and it, and, and and use a slide. And I never had used a slide before. And these pool cues, or what are these? Yeah, I don't know. Or broomsticks. Them. Some kind of sticks, yeah. Well, we played. But anyway, I plugged it in. Finally, when I, I didn't realize what I had till I plugged it in, and, and, and it, it's the finest electric instrument I've ever owned. I think, yeah. Well, will you play some more? Yes. All right. Thanks, Pat.
It's an instrumental, it's an improv, more or less.
nice. Mm -hmm. That's pretty seedy. Oh, that one's called The Blues of Sin. Um, somebody once described me playing this as The Blues of Sin. <laughs> and uh, That had a lot of sin in it. that was kind of funny, actually. That, but, that, that was filled with sin. Now, you're going to switch over, over to the guitar for us, aren't you? Yep. Um, and even while you do that, Pat, um, the, the, uh, the Steel Bridge Festival uh, up in Sturgeon Bay, where you're based now, is an annual event that people really need to know about, and a lot of people already do, but tell us about the Steel Bridge Fest. All right. Um, every summer around the early mid-June, we do it uh, in Sturgeon Bay. Uh, it's, a, it's a benefit fundraiser to uh, help to save, preserve, and uh, advance the cause of this old bridge that my sister uh, saved a while back. And then it seemed to be in question the, the, uh, the future of it. The, the, we're, we're trying to work with the DOT, and we need, a, we need actually some extra funds in order to do this, because we have a little disagreement as to how much uh, uh, work we'd like to see. But right. They basically want to just repair it and kind of patch it up and we're looking for more of a permanent sort and, of And thing. this is the, the bridge everyone can picture. It's, it's the one that takes you into Sturgeon Bay and... and uh, yeah, it's a, it's, a, a, it's a landmark. I remember uh, going, to, going up to Peninsula Park when we were kids and uh, every year when we crossed that bridge it was like, okay, it's vacation time now. That's, that was, it was the entrance way to uh, vacation land, you know, so. Nice. Anyway, now the, the, the festival is right across the bridge, the old bridge, um, to the right at right. Great Lakes Yachts, and it's a big, big area. And it's huge early June. canopy on top. And, yeah. and we'll have links to your website mm -hmm. um, on the WPT website, and they can learn about the Steel Bridge there as well, right? Right. Uh, SteelBridgeSongFest.org. Good, good. Yeah. Let's get back to, cool. to more music. Right. We're going to ask you to play a couple more. And uh, then we'll be done. Cool. Okay, I'm going to make sure this is working, okay? All right. song I don't need the harmonica for. <laughs> By new, I mean I haven't really put it out or recorded it yet.
doctor that a little bit. Mel, <laughs> what's that one called? <laughs> it's called hard, in parentheses, only human. Three word title. Uh, um, when you register it with BMI, they take out all parentheses. Why? I don't know. They take out the the as well. So I have a song called The Governor, which I, I might as well do right now. Um, and it's just called Governor and BMI. I can't find a way of, of retitling it. They take the the's out. Maybe that's their artistic license. Maybe it's like, you know, yeah, it's, uh, it's a green thing. It's data conservation or something, yeah. you know, or, or uh, memory space conservation. Can you play us one more, Pat? Gonna do it. The governor? The governor or governor? Um, I think I'll... Uh, the lyric has the the in it, so uh, uh, let's call it the governor, and, and, and um, the FCC can edit it if they want to. They might be working on other parts of this broadcast, too, so. Yeah. 
Close my 